unfortunately today, no outside video. It is absolutely bucketing down. There's flash flooding all over the place. It is just really, really wet outside, which is great for certain areas of Australia, especially the areas that were in drought uh, and fire affected. Not so great if you're trying to drive. Uh, I'm now stuck in a traffic jam, have been stuck for a little while. I believe there's flooding on the road and there is also an accident up ahead. So I've got to be very careful with my driving. So today I drove an hour and a half north from Sydney up to Gosford, which is where my mum lives, um, to go visit her. Um, and yeah, getting back today is going to be a bit of an issue. I know driving down yesterday in the rain, it was just bucketing down. You could barely see anything. Windscreen wipers on as fast as they possibly could. Uh, I hope it's all right getting home today. I'll be going nice and slow not going into the fast lane, just taking it easy. And unfortunately this week, I haven't had much time to exercise either. I have been hit by a cold all week. Hopefully not coronavirus, the N19N cov or whatever it is. Um, I'm pretty sure it's not that. I'm pretty sure I just got affected with some just generic rhinovirus. But that has been putting me out for a little while this week, unfortunately haven't been able to do much in the way of training. And that's sort of the guidance material is like, if you're sick and the, the symptoms are neck or above, you can still exercise, just, you know, be aware, watch out, take it easy. Um, but if the symptoms are below the neck, i.e. you're getting like uh, muscle aches and pains, it's more likely that it is a flu and therefore you want to eliminate any training. Since my symptoms are majoritively neck and above, I'm fine, it's a cold, I can still go and work out. I got myself some hand sanitizer, which by the way, hand sanitizer is so hard to come by at the moment. I got this one, but I had to drive all the way out here to Gosford to get it. So in Sydney, everywhere that I've been, no hand sanitizer at all. There are a shortage everywhere of it. So the toe is healing decently. Um, as far as I know, I don't really want to test it, of course. like. I bend it occasionally every now and again just to test it a little bit and it, yes, it's still sore. So I don't really want to push it too much beyond that. Um, I've still got two weeks of the recommended healing time uh, over which I'll start increasing more and more movement, but I won't do any sort of full on running until the two weeks is up. And then I've got two weeks from there until a six foot track marathon. By the way, I got an email um, a notification from the Six Foot Track Marathon team that it looks like the Six Foot Track Marathon will be going ahead. So they were, there were some concerns regarding the bushfires and all that, that it wasn't going to go ahead. But unless anything major changes, um, it will be going ahead. Uh, so it looks like it will be going ahead. Although this major rains, who knows, this might cause some issues like these rains can get into the trees which were damaged by the fires make them heavier and they're already weakened because of the fires which could then cause trees to fall over so we'll see how we go out here today so yeah we're getting these really bad rains at the moment absolutely bucketing down with rain uh, there we go bucketing down with rain and it's also causing blackouts so as you saw just in some of the video I just showed uh, a lot of places are experiencing complete blackouts uh, where the traffic lights are out uh, they <clears throat> like the whole area has no power so yeah, Australia has been getting hit really bad at the moment. You know, all these fires to begin with and now blackouts and flooding and flash flooding all across New South Wales. It's a bit crazy this weekend. And this drive home, uh, it has been bumper to bumper. Like we've been barely moving. It's still gonna take an hour and a half to me to 
to get home from where I am currently. I've been in a traffic jam for about an hour. Uh, normally the trip home takes only about an hour. So it's, uh, it's gonna be a fun afternoon. All right, road closed. Can't go that way. Severe flooding. Uh, I gotta find another way to get home. So there is significant flooding on a lot of places around Australia, around New South Wales, and I guess uh, Western Australia as well. They've got a cyclone going across Western Australia that's made landfall today, which is quite significant. But yeah, here in Sydney, we are getting significant rain. Um, I haven't seen this much for a long time. I think I heard on the news, last time we had about this much rain was 2016, but this has exceeded even that. Last time we went even close to this amount of rain was like in the 80s or the 70s. So it's very significant. A lot of localized flash flooding. Uh, to the road that I just went down, I tried to get through, but no, there was a police car that said road closed. The road has been flooded, so go a different way. So now I'm going uh, back home via Macquarie, a lot more traffic, but at least I should be able to get home by going that way. And also there are trees down all over the place. I mean, I'm just about to turn left here, but look at this left lane. big tree blocking the entire left lane uh, so yeah th this sort of thing is happening all over the place this isn't the first tree I've seen all fallen over and blocking lanes and I've seen a lot of fire and rescue crews today as well SES so the state emergency service crews a lot of police luckily I haven't seen many ambulances that's the one you don't want to see Alright, I'm at my gym. It's very wet out there. I'm gonna have to make a run for it. Ready? Three, two, one. Absolutely lovely outside. Just a wonderful day. <laughs> it is for the drought and fire prone areas, definitely. So the problem with exercising when you've got a broken toe is you need to watch out for the broken toe, make sure you don't bend it, which would then prolong the healing process. So you've got to try and be a little bit inventive about what exercises you can do. Uh, also, I really should be practicing or exercising my calf muscle and my Achilles as much as possible. That's a bit hard to do since the majority of exercises I know that exercise those two areas involve bending your toes. So a friend of mine, I asked them about it and they suggested doing, uh, putting a strap around your foot and doing the actual movement of extending and contracting the calf muscle. And that seems to work fairly well. Uh, I'm, you'd have to make sure that you put the strap below where the toe bends so that it doesn't put pressure on the sides and so that it doesn't bend the toe itself but otherwise you can still get a decent amount of exercise done even when you've got a broken toe and then of course there is always uh, core workouts so ab workouts and leg workouts so your squats all that sort of thing they pose no problem with a broken toe so long as you don't bend your toes
And now finally at home. Uh, it's been a big day in the car for the most part, but it's been a big day and I got to go to the gym, which is good. Uh, now I'm gonna try and make a dash to my house over there. It's bucketing down. I just gotta live with it. I'm gonna get wet. All right. Actually, it's not too bad. Yes, it's annoying. And I did end up getting home, which is a bonus, especially considering how many roads were blocked and just completely stuck with floods. But anyway, that about does it for me today. If you want more swim, bike, run, and exercise content every week from here in Australia, then hit that like and subscribe button, and I will see you in the next one. Cheerio.